What is up all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McB here, and you are watching and listening to the Nerd is a New Sexy Entertainment Podcast number 144. And as always with me, we have the one, the only, Wildfire One. Thank you, thank you. It's nice to be here. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, you know what? Anytime, anytime. <laughs> Episode 144, I know this is going to come out somewhere between November and December, but it's always a good time to talk about this. But for us, while we're recording it, it is October. It is spooky season. We are loving this month. We're having a good old time. Lots of good game players coming out. Uh, and by the time this is out, I'm going to be sad because it's going to be over with. Yeah. But we decided that we're going to talk about probably one of the topics that we that me and this guy's talked about ever since, shit, we worked together. Years ago now was last time we worked together. Yep. Um, two thousand nine. That no, it was when we first started working together. Yeah. No, I'm talking. Well, last time we were together yes, two thousand thirteen. Thirteen was when we last worked together. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So, and this episode's topic is where do you think the best place to hide? in a zombie apocalypse would be. Yes. And I've had this conversation with Grizzly. I've had it with several other people that we worked for it with in the past. I'm pretty darn sure I had it with J-Flo. And, uh, yeah. All three of us talked about it at one point. Yeah, and it's always been a topic of passion. Where would you hide during... it? What's the best place, in your opinion, to hide in a zombie apocalypse? Now, we're probably going to miss a lot of places that you guys have thought hard about this, because I doubt we're the only ones that thought about this. Where would you guys hide in a zombie apocalypse? We're probably going to miss some of that stuff, so be sure to put it down in the comments below and let us know what you... <laughs> well, let's start off with you, Grizz. What would be the ideal place, not necessarily your favorite place, but the ideal place like you would think most people would think of for a zombie apocalypse? Well, I, I think most people would think of like a big grocery store like Walmart or Target or you know like a Save Mart or something yeah or or whatever when, uh, what's what, what's the place in Oregon um, Safeway or whatever that place is called or you know big a big gro- grocery store that sells food and has clothing and stuff that and that makes mm-hmm. sense and that totally makes sense that uh, that you would think that um, now tell me what you think would be the problem with that there would be a lot of people going there. That's exactly what I was just going to say. It's not just your idea. Everyone's thinking the same thing. So, exactly. in a place that has a lot of food and a lot of a lot of uh, equipment, whatever equipment, hat, what have you, <laughs> clothing, anything you you would need day to day is probably not going to be there because it's already been hit by a thousand other people. Exactly. So yes. Okay. So for me. Um, one of the big places I think a lot of people would want to go to is a mall. Yeah. And I, and I know you knew this was coming. I mean, there's been enough movies about zombie apocalypses in the mall and people at, and going to a mall and surviving for, I don't know, for a long period of time. But And plus, I mean, it's the same thing. There's equipment. There's, there's all sorts of stuff at a mall. And who doesn't want to, you know, unless you've worked at one, who doesn't want to live at a mall? Right. Now, yeah, me neither. Um, now the well, I mean, even, even if it was like a mall that we worked at, there was a movie theater. We still had entertainment. That's if you have uh, any form of electricity. Yeah. But uh, the bad, there's a few bad things with, in my opinion, going to a mall in in for a zombie apocalypse. One, way too many entrances and exits. Oh yeah. Um. There's way too many ways. For, and on top of that, there's going to be people. You don't think that people are going to be turned there? Exactly. You yeah, know, like, and they're all going to be stupid teenagers that you just don't want to fucking be around. They'll be on their phone. <laughs> you didn't like me on Twitter. TikTok is stupid. So, yeah, like. <laughs> You got, I mean, that's another thing. And another one, another downfall of that would be everyone, again, <laughs> everyone has the idea. There's been movies about it, you know. Mm. Uh, there's, 
roof access and that's good if you're stuck in a mall like if it happens while you're there chances are you're lucky but that's another thing there's too many exits and entrance you never know who's getting in and who's getting out and you got to make sure and that's what which leads me to my next fucking pet or problem with that that uh and that would be there's too much area to, to secure there's too much area to worry about you can't keep eyes on everything, especially if there's no cameras and or there's no uh, it's not, if there's not enough people. <laughs> no, that doesn't say like a small area is is going to be a good idea because it isn't. Um, small areas are usually where you get you get blocked in and you're eating your fucking food. Well, what do you think about them all, Grizz? Did I miss anything that might be good or bad? Well, depending on the mall uh, that you may decide to commandeer, as it were, during Make the zombie apocalypse. If you are the first person or persons there, there's always clothing stores. There's a food court. And if you're really lucky, there is dispensers and a big five. I was just about to say big five. <laughs> Spencer's, yeah, you can get those sex toys. You're good. Big five, depending on and what state you're living in. Even better, because then you can make, like, a dildo launcher and just go up on the roof and just, like, peg zombies in the head with dildos all day long. <laughs> What's and that? Like, it hits you in the forehead and just, like, sticks to them. I was just going to say. Dick, dick, dick unicorn zombies. Dick, dick unicorn Dick of corn zombies? But imagine how, like, embarrassing it would be to be that one zombie with the dick stuck through your head. Could you take that zombie seriously? That Brains, and there's a big good. dick out of its head. Like going in, going in one side, coming out the other. The exactly. Balls, like, him in the ear, the dick the side. Could you take that zombie seriously? No. Nah, dude. Kill the day. Kill the week right there. Kill the year, man. You get a zombie with a dildo, or if you get the suction cup one, like you said, made it a fucking zombicorn. Fuck yeah. Imagine that shit, like it's chasing you. <laughs> Do it. It's flopping around. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I'll tell you one thing some girls or guys, that'll be their best friend. They'll be capturing that zombie. And then you just shoot them in the ankles. That way they walk all weird. <laughs> <laughs> Call them Bob. So yeah, there's there's some there's some pros and cons. Like I mean, what if you're stuck in a house? I saw I watched some movie while I was in Oregon about like some Asian dude in Japan that got stuck in his house in his apartment. Mm. Uh, it was a good movie. Uh, um, I forgot how I found it, or I think they were watching. My my family was watching it, but. We, uh, anyway, he, he lived it out as long as he could, but if he would have done it by himself, he would have died because he ran out of food and water a long time ago and at a certain point. It's just, I don't know. I don't, I don't think being, staying put is probably the worst thing you can do. Yeah. I wish you live in a compound with, you know, like years of food stored up and a lot of guns. What about, um, like a police a precinct? Yeah. I think that would be maybe like one of the better ones. But it'd be about a week before the vending machine went out. So. Go and take a taco truck. <laughs> mobile! That's a mobile and you could set it up to where it's badass and shit? Yeah. Run over some zombies, eat some taco... Fuck, dude. You, got, you had me a taco truck. <laughs> Make some quesadillas and shit out of rat uh -huh. meat. Yep. Hey, you know what? I don't care what kind of meat it is as long as I don't know and it's good. No, I couldn't eat dog, seriously. But, uh, man's best friend, dude. You're not so funny. It's man's best friend. I can't do that. Yeah, but if it bites you, you can bite his ass back on the barbecue. That's true. Only if it bites <laughs> me. I'd eat cat. I love that. <laughs> We've seen it in, like, The Walking Dead, the uh, prison. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of defenses, but at the same time, you're stuck in there. Yeah, they're stuck out there, but you're stuck in there. 
Yeah, I mean, the thing about it, there's food, there's there's water. So, well, there's hopefully there's water, but there's food rations, and it's meant to to feed a bunch of people. So you know that there's gonna be food for a while. But yeah, there again, problem being, it's a big space to secure and say that's just you and me, like you and me. Two people ain't gonna do that. And again, yeah. just just like The Walking Dead, you know, <laughs> there there's there's inmates. People are going to get infected. People are going to be sick. And it's a very enclosed area in some places, and you're going to get bit one way or another. A cruise ship. Oh, that could be a good and bad one, though. Okay, tell me tell me what the... What makes a cruise ship good in your eyes? The floating fortress. There's fresh water because the filtration system. Yes. There's tons of food on, on board. Tons. Gourmet you can fish food. Off of it. Yep. You can sleep in a different room every night of the year, and there's a swimming pool. Some of them have like six. Plus, there's tons of alcohol. And that could be good for all sorts of purposes: drinking, obviously, you know, cleaning wounds, stuff like that. Mostly drinking. Yeah, I'm drinking. Yeah, mostly, yeah. mostly drinking. <laughs> Okay, well then, tell, uh, <laughs> I probably I probably guessed already, but what are some of the cons? It's going to attract a shitload of people. Oh yeah, and some people with other boats probably. That's. Exactly. I mean, they see I a would. floating fortress. Yeah. What are they going to want to do? Okay, here's here's my take on that. That's a bad thing, but I think the worst thing is, well, usually when you're on a cruise, you're on it with hundreds of other people. Yeah. And let's say a handful of you aren't infected. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? Everyone else on the ship is going to die all alone. On top of that, you also got to remember, like zombies are going to do whatever they can to get from point A to point B to get to the meat, to get to dinner. Uh, who's to say they're not going to start fires, cause problems? Uh, ruin food, uh, die in the die in, in the water supply, uh, stuff like that. I mean, there's there's always something really bad that can happen. Uh, imagine drinking zombie water. Uh, this water tastes like zombie. Okay, well let's talk about a place. Let's 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 think about a place that's impenetrable. That would be good. That we can't think of any any cons, like any bad things. What do you think? Military base. Oh, for sure. But the problem is, again, the con with that would be people. And then other people are going to try and do that, too. Okay. So a place where there is no con. Yeah. And this is going to be difficult. That's why I'm, I'm putting it out. We, this is our challenge. place where we can't Mars. think of anything that will, like, the, probably the best place, the utopian place that we can go to to survive this fucking... The, the, the zombie pandemic, as it were. Mars. Mars. Well, uh, uh, no air. What about a military bunker? But the cons for that would be, okay, they nuke the world, kill all the zombies, right? Yeah, the bunker. A building falls on your exit. Or a building just out. falls on your exit anyway, because it happens. Though sometimes things happen. Yeah, then you're just fucked. I you're fucked. Them. Oh man, that's another thing. What about like the hygiene for during a zombie pandemic? Well, like you got to be showered. Eventually, eventually you're gonna get stinky. Like it doesn't matter if you can't wash clothes or take a shower, you're gonna get stinky. I always watch these shows where like these people are having sex, and I keep thinking to myself like, that's gotta stink. You got like two unwashed people. Just I mean, I get it. When you when you got that itch, you want to scratch it. And if you're used to the smell, maybe, I don't know. And what if you run out of toilet paper? We've almost run out of toilet paper in during the not-zombie pandemic. Uh, who wants to be with a shitty asshole? The most women. <laughs> Go over all... Uh, just forget all the bad shit. The best part, I think, is be able to go into other people's houses and just, like, look around. <laughs> 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 be like, man, this guy was an asshole, but it looks like he's got a lot of money. Huh? Let's go see what he's got. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think that 
I don't I don't think there maybe there is no such thing as a perfect area. Well, I mean, if you watch The Walking Dead, you know that there's not. But then again, that is just Georgia, so. <laughs> well, you think California is going to have an amazingly perfect area? Oh, no, because if you watch Fear of the Walking Dead, California's gone because like, they end up nuking L.A. and the Bay Area. Too many people. Just too many fucking people. Yeah. I mean, what about... Because you can't be like an airplane because an airplane isn't safe either because you need fuel to keep it going. Um, I mean, the yeah. same can be said with a ship too, you know, but uh, what about like an island somewhere? Like an island, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, like, a, like an island resort, you're still going to have to clear them out, but there's not going to be any more. Yeah, but if it's a resort, people are going to know about it. But it's good there. Yeah, but how many people have you ever seen go like, I'm going to go on an island resort for the zombie apocalypse? If it's on an island, it's hard to get to. And this, But this is one of the big the big cons for that. The big problem would be food. Uh, what was the name of that zombie game? Uh, you know, where they're on an island? I know which one you're talking about. Um, <laughs> dead, it was it Dead Island or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> they were at a resort. <laughs> yeah, they, it was a resort, and... But the thing is, with a, with an island, you don't have to worry about people continuously coming. All you have to worry about is the zombies that are there, even though it's like probably hundreds of millions or thousands or whatnot. Still a bunch of zombies. Yep. So, I mean, honestly, I don't think there's anywhere you can go. So, okay, anywhere in the, anywhere in the world, if there was a zombie apocalypse, like, say, where would you want to be? Probably Iceland. Iceland. Actually, that's a good answer. So Iceland, I understand because like anything cold. Oh, well, you know, yeah, you think about it though. Um, Iceland has some of the biggest motherfuckers in the world, and if they turned into zombies, you'd be finished without a look. Probably, yeah, you're fucked. Plus, you know, I last, but I don't need to be like tracked down by like a zombie grizzly bear or zombie. I agree with you. Like a zombie, you know what? How many move? How many shows have you seen a zombie like animal? Only a few. There's only been a handful. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Yeah, but I mean, there's only been a handful. So I mean, I, you might get mauled by a bear, but if it's a zombie bear, maybe, maybe not, depending on what zombie world we live in. Florida. No. No. Well, hurricanes and shit. You don't want to be caught in a hurricane during a freaking zombie apocalypse. That would suck. Oh, look, a zombie. You should look another zombie. Nope. Zomnado. Oh, and on top of that, Florida also has, like, alligators. Yeah. That's a part like Louisiana. Louisiana's muggy, though. Like... You know them Cajuns know how to deal with zombies. Well, that's true. They, they, they didn't have like all the voodoo and all that shit. <laughs> that's true. And then on top of that, there's the alligators and like fucking crocodiles and shit there too. Crawfish and catfish. It's a zombie crawfish and catfish. Wouldn't that suck? Wouldn't it suck if all our favorite foods that we like to eat that are living like turned into zombies? Like you're saying, like a zombie bear, or a zombie cow. A zombie crawfish, zombie crabs, zombie kitties, zombie crabs. Um, I'm sure they have ointment for that. Well, let's hope so. Zombie otters. Oh, dude, don't ruin that for me. Zombie sharks. They're already dead inside. Yeah, and they like to eat people. So, depending. Um, zombie killer whales. A zombie sperm whale. <laughs> But I, I don't think, like, okay, I, depending on what zombies you're talking about, if we're talking about the slow zombies from, like, like the Night of the Living Dead and some of the old 80s zombies, yeah, yeah maybe maybe some of these places would be good or better. But I, you know what? Like, we're living in a modern age, so we're dealing with a modern zombie. We're dealing with the quick ones. And I, I, the way I see it is the quick ones are the ones that just got turned anyway. Like, they're the ones that haven't started rotting yet. But what you what the the one thing you're gonna want to do is what get food, water, have abundance of both weapons. Weapons, as far as and you know like you definitely it would be nice to have clothing. It would be nice to have uh, mm -hmm. a working toilet, you know, running water, 
a shower so that way that way no, no one smells like ass wants to say this and if there was a working electricity video games if you think about it with the games we play and have played we would be in the video game. yeah if it's a zombie apocalypse we'd definitely be what we were playing now do you think that gamers have a better chance at surviving the zombie apocalypse than um, than people who don't game gamers and country folk that is who would survive why do you say that well country folk are good at killing shit and uh well, gamers are good at killing shit <laughs> no I wouldn't quite say that gamers have been I'll, I'll say or, or you know relationships what have you they're good at killing stuff I'll put it this way gamers have been like and I, this is probably quoting a few animes a few movies uh, without even realizing it but gamers have been preparing for this since they played their first zombie right. game uh, yes. since, since they played their first zombie game and that's the whole reason these these thoughts it, are in our head. It wasn't even a zombie game for me. It was Chrono Trigger back in the freaking. What made what made what did Chrono Trigger make you think about? You're fighting monsters in a dungeon. I mean, at one point there is an apocalypse, so you know, it is Chrono Trigger. There's there's a lot of places you can go. There's a lot of things. You, again, my bit my the big thing I'd love to do is go from place to place, like check out. And that's why I like playing mm -hmm. zombie games is I like to go into these houses and these games and just look and see what story I can find. What I, what what happened? What's what's the story in this house before yeah. the zombie apocalypse hit? And I, I love that as a concept. What was the last zombie game you played, Grizz? Uh the Walking Dead VR. Oh, out. I should have known better than to ask that. Yes. The Walking Dead VR. Because you, you and Monster both were like, how do you get a headshot every freaking time with a screwdriver? And I think that I think it'll be gamers that take the world gamers, back. The only problem with gamers and the zombie apocalypse is we're all going to be blind as shit. <laughs> cardio and cardio. Running sucks. Especially the older you get. Running sucks. I'll tell you this right now. You ever see me in public and I start running? You better be faster than me because <laughs> you better. the only time I'm running is if something's after me. You better run and, too, uh, motherfucker, because there's something coming. You don't have to be the fastest runner. You just gotta be faster than the guy that's knocked down. Like anything that has to do with law enforcement, I think would be good to hide in. You know, and yeah, that, honestly, yeah. I, the best, the best process for me from going from point A to point B would be like precinct to precinct. Like if you were if you were cuz you can't yeah. stay somewhere long cuz if you do you're fucked. Eventually you're going to be fucked. You stay at like this this police station for I don't know a month, right? And you go from police station A to the next town over. Cuz you know that they're going to have gas, they're going to have cars, they're going to have you know, they're going to have just mostly if they haven't been hit already, everything you need. Then you go from there yeah. to maybe like a jail or a prison or something close to something that's or military establishment, you know, uh, and then you go from there to the next place, and in fr and I think that's probably m the best the best plan I could come up with for a zombie apocalypse. Until you get to where you want to go, and then you and then you find out who you were there to see is dead because everyone in a movie or a show has an has a plan to go find someone or save someone that they love, and find out that it doesn't end well because the zombie apocalypse. Guess what? Isn't gonna end well. Don't go to Disneyland. Why not? You have the whole place to yourself. Zombie Mickey, dude. Yeah, until Mickey comes at you going, Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna fucking eat you! Your ass is mine, bitch! Ha <laughs> ha! Gorsh, Mickey. Gorsh, Why Mickey. So helpful? <laughs> Gorsh, Mick, this guy tastes amazing. Disneyland. Gorsh, Mickey, you want other <laughs> Disneyland is probably the worst idea. But oh, it's in Anaheim, that, you know, yeah. like, um, or even the one in, or even the one in in Florida. Or, yeah, Florida. That uh -huh. Disney World would be bad too. Disney World. Yeah. There would be like real dead people in the Haunted Mansion, at least. 
Or in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Probably trying to eat them. I, you know, here's a big question. And, and this I always say this is a joke. If you were lonely in the zombie apocalypse, would you, you know, fuck a zombie? How dead are we talking? Oh, um, I mean, even if she's fresh at first, she's not going to be so fresh later. I refuse to answer that question. I mean, okay. Fuck her till her tits fall off. <laughs> of course you wouldn't say that. <laughs> hey, you know what? Zombie apocalypse, no one's judging. You do what you gotta do. Okay? You do what you gotta do. What's that? You said the silicone pops out? Best thing about it, she can't get pregnant. Or complain. Or, compl- or, or complain. I said my perfect okay, plan. <laughs> what would your perfect plan be? No, I really like your plan. Going from precinct to precinct. Um, I mean, me, I would go to all the gun stores in the area. Uh, Hardware stores, collect all the mail, tools and stuff. And uh, then just go to the mountains and survive. The mountains is a good idea. You know what would be great is if you could live in a a cave and hermit it up, you know. No, it, it's got to be like the Ewok village. Mmm, you know what? That would actually work. <laughs> if you could find a source of water and food and get away with it, with the whole Ewok village like we did in um, the forest, you could actually, you could, you would actually live worry-free unless someone turned up in the Ewok, the, the up in, uh, you know, in the little fucking, the, the village. You just throw his ass off the bridge and... You're good to go. Yeah, all you gotta do is just push him. You know? Yeah. He, he ain't getting back up. <laughs> He's. <laughs> it's not. That's not a bad idea. I think. I think if <clears throat> other than the, the the fear of starving to death or you know, or not getting water, I think that that would be good. In a situation like that, I would find. I would. It's, we'll say there's like ten of us. I'd find like three of us to go out and hunt and forage and then come back. Come on up. That's exactly what it would be. It would be the first things first is set up a place to sleep, defenses, and then the next day or so would be scouting for food, gathering, you know, berries, minor lettuce, wild onions, whatever, trying to find a creek or a pond that may have fish. Should I even eat uh, um, squirrel, dude? If you had to, if you're hungry enough. Oh, squirrel's, squirrel's delicious. Squirrel's delicious. <laughs> it is. It is. Well, I'm saying, we're frog legs? Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, I'm all about frog legs. Uh, dude, I can... If they're cooked right? Yeah. Oh! We've been playing a lot of games, guys, uh, and I'd like to know what you guys want us to play. I'd like to know what you guys would like to see us do and, and review and all this other stuff uh, that we do, because we do a lot. And there's a number... What's that number, Grizzly McBee? That number is 559-997-6803. Again, 559-997-6803. If you would think about the podcast, whatever you want us to review, movies, video games, TV shows, even if you want us to you know, try streaming something live for you guys, let us know. So, uh, like you said, let us know uh, on on the voicemail for that number that you that we just gave you. If you're interested in letting us know what you want us to do, or that, or just put it in the comments below. If you're too shy to talk to us with your voice, you can talk to us with your text. Right. Next week's going to be a mini boss episode. So, is there anything else you want to say there, Grizz? I don't think that translates well into podcasts. Wiggling your eyebrows. Oh, especially, especially for those just listening. Yeah, wiggling your eyebrows and giving kisses and shit. I'll 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 narrate what he did. He looked at you lovingly. Parted his he puckered his lips oh so sexually, like right now he's licking his lips and he's parting his lips oh so sexually like he's gonna give you kisses. Yep, there's that big hairy face vagina. We'll see you next week on episode one. 45, which is going to be a, a mini-boss episode. 
Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Nerds New Sexy Entertainment. We have, I mean, it's been a while. We've been talking about doing a podcast about zombie apocalypse and for a little bit. And it's been on my long list of things to talk about. Now we can check that off. Uh, <laughs> so if there's anything we missed, guys, put it down in the comments below. Till then, we want you to stay nerdy. And stay sexy. Always. <laughs>